Hello everyone. I see that YouTube has um, removed my last message to you all, uh, which I posted about 10 months ago, I guess by now, letting you know of a problem that has arisen and that I won't be able to pursue this project for a while. And then somebody wrote me and then I got curious, went back to, the, to, to this site and discovered that my last video had been removed. In fact, 23 messages, I mean, excuse me, 23 of my videos since um, 2017 or 2018 maybe, have been removed from YouTube without notifications. I think a few of them before 2017, they said I was in violation of community standards. Of course, they don't ever tell you what that community standard is. Anyway, nonetheless, um, my videos continue to be removed from YouTube. Um, why remove my videos? There are lots of scam videos up there of people trying to trick us into thinking that they really are onto something when it's just a scam. And it's, a lot of them are very obvious. Here I am, just some old guy playing with magnets. There's no, nothing special going on here. Well, maybe there is. And there's no... I'm not violating any kind of community standards. Um, some of you all might know who've been religiously, faithfully following my channel. And, and thank you, of course. And for all you newcomers, thank you for visiting. And, and for all you old comers, <laughs> thank you for continuing to follow my channel. Um, or my research, if you will. So, um, back when I first started... Uh, posting this stuff up on YouTube, I think it was 2010, I believe. Uh, within a couple of weeks, my channel got taken down because a video I posted with the wheel and just perpetually going. It's not, there's no such thing as perpetual motion with magnets because magnets wear out. They just do, they'll wear out. So there's no perpetual motion going on here. I never will be. So after about two weeks, when my video went, I mean, it went viral, I mean, it was a little over 2 million views, which is about a million views a week, and suddenly it just disappeared. Then I re-put up the video, that disappeared, and then I put up a different video, I just remade the video, and when I put up that video, the channel disappeared. No warnings, no nothing. So I did it again, the second video, I mean second uh, YouTube channel, I called it Free Magnetic Energy. That's there for about two months before it as well got taken down. Well, during that process, I said, okay, obviously somebody doesn't want me putting up what I have and what I'm learning. Well, after two months, it got taken down as well. That was free magnetic energy. So I waited a couple months and I put up the current channel that you're now watching this YouTube on, this video on, and uh, I named it Free Magnetic Energy 2. Anyway, I continue to be attacked. Um, 23 of my videos now taken down. Who knows, all the other dozen or more in the past have been taken down. Probably over three dozen of my videos now have been taken down. Anyway, so I just want to let you all know why I disappeared again um, and what has happened. Um, what I discovered, thanks to this little guy here, this is a... A gauze meter and um, pinpoint which allows me to pinpoint exactly that's why they call it a pinpoint gauze meter because it has a little tiny point on it can't we get that to focus well anyway so it allows me to put exactly different places on the, the magnet and measure it like measuring the corners here of these magnets I discovered something totally astonishing I was wondering why I couldn't get my project to get back up and running the way it used to run. Turns out, every single magnet has variable strength. Even those are all supposed to be N42s. A lot of these are N32s or, or weaker. So, like this one here is like almost full strength. The one next to it is almost exactly at half strength. So, I can't have these dips in strengths which creates hills and valleys and hills and valleys in the field when I put magnets around the wheel. 
And that's why you will see in some of my videos, the wheel goes, it goes, but every time it gets to certain spots, it just kind of, kind of fizzles out and then, and then it starts up again. It goes around and around and then gets to that same spot and kind of fizzles out and finally just dies. I had no idea that all my magnets were different strengths and substantially so, as much as 50% half strength, most of them are varying by 20, 25% strength. So anyway, life went on. I spent about $5,000 on my magnet collection early on, different magnets and all that stuff. I just didn't have the time or the heart uh, to continue to pursue this financially and nobody cared to donate any money. So I'm on a fixed budget, I'm retired. And so here's one one of what I want to leave you with. Um, and I don't know when I'll be back. So, sorry, but nobody believes in my research. Nobody wants to fund me, and I'm definitely not going to get a grant because that's complicated, and I don't want to bring unnecessary attention to myself. Okay, so what I did is I put up a leveler here. As you can see, the bubble's in the middle. Let's see if I get it right there. Okay, it's almost exactly in the middle. It's really, really close, but no steep hills or anything. And as you take this around, you see a bubble remains in the middle. It's off just a smidge, but not by much. Okay, like stop shaking the wheel. I take my hand off. I try to keep the wheel from turning. I want to turn anyway because I got a magnet set up over here, and this is magnetic. It's got magnets underneath here. Anyway. So when you come down here, you'll see the wheel is pretty darn dead center. The, the bubble's almost dead center. So there's no, there's, there's no real heavy duty slant going on here. Okay, so now let me show you something here. As you all know, and if you're a newcomer, this little stator I made is what started everything. Um, because what I did I figured out how to make what is the equivalency of a monopole magnet, which does not exist. Um, let's see here. Here, this will work. Maybe that, here we go. Okay. Here's a steel wash. There are other people who have just could, um, type in James Roney Stater's replication. You'll find other people who have replicated this for me now. As you'll see, there's no magnetic attraction on the back, right? None. Zero. But if I turn this around, and by the way, there's a magnet right center here. See? I can't get it off. There we go. You see? But if I do that on the back, it doesn't do it. See? There's none. There's no magnetic attraction on the back. None whatsoever. Turn it around, and voila. Okay, so put this out of the way because I keep this way away. From, see, it's already turned the wheel. Even though it was way over here, it was affecting the wheel way over here. Now, what I want to show you here is that I have a one inch by one inch square um, by quarter inch neodymium N42 magnet, and then the same strength but round one inch by a quarter inch thick. Okay, and then here on the wheel we have a one inch cylindrical magnet here. This is an N52, all right? Now, what I wanna show you here at these peculiar angles or right angles to each other, I wanna show you something here. Because you remember for every action, there's supposed to be an equal and opposite reaction. Well, I'd since proven that to be wrong. It's probably why it's gotten my video, my my first two YouTube channels taken down, and then 23 more videos later as well, but hopefully this one will stay up for a while. You better copy it while you can. Um, when I push this magnet in this direction, I'm going to just a gentle push. It'll go through and pass this with the greatest of these and keep right on going. That's not supposed to happen because normally if it was equal and opposite reaction, then when we got on the other side, it'd pull it back and it'll go back and forth like this, it go back and forth, back and forth, until it's found equilibrium. But it doesn't happen. So let me just give this a gentle little, just a very gentle little push. It goes around through, and look how far it just keeps, it's quite a little push. Okay, now let me 
Let me grab this again. I'm going to do this in the opposite direction. Gives a gentle little push. And watch what happens. See, it's at a good angle. Here we go. Pick up so you can see the whole wheel. All right. Doesn't want to go through. Get a little bit harder push. Eventually, it will go through if I push it hard enough. It almost went through. Uh, almost. And even if I get it to go through, let me push it a little bit harder. Okay, there we go. So, but in this direction, all I have to do is give it a very light feathery push. Very light. See how it went through? So easily, so easily went through. It takes no effort to get it to go through this direction. See? Oh, let me get the camera back so you don't think I'm tricking anybody by somebody off camera pushing the wheel. Okay. See, it was a very gentle push. Let me go way back here. A little further. A nice little gentle push. See, it goes through and it pushes it, kicks it on out. Okay, now let's see here. I'm gonna put a piece of paper here, stand up here, so nobody can think I'm using a blower, blowing air around the room to do this. So you can see this is just a piece of paper balanced here. Okay, let's do this again. Normally having a candle lit helps, but all right. See, gentle push, it went right on through. Are you reverse direction? Doesn't all the way through. Excuse me. A, a firm push, it will go through, but otherwise it doesn't go through. A gentle push in this direction goes on through. Same gentle push in this direction, it will not go through. So, what we have here is that. Ooh, see, it went through still. What we have here is that we have less counter attraction on this side and greater attraction on this side. But this we're in attraction mode. So anyway, I, that's all I want to share. I don't want to get make this video really long. It's already past 12 minutes. So here's what's happening. I need more magnets. I'm not going to buy them right now. I'm financially, everything's really tight. Nobody wants to donate any kind of money. Probably about $1,500 replace all my magnets. If any of you who are very, very flush with cash, who want to just see where all this goes, you can uh, put it in my, uh, drop it in PayPal, James Roney. I'll actually, instead of telling you my name, PayPal account name, I'll just put it in the, um, in, in the which one call it in the in the description all right well th listen that's it that's all the news i have right now to print and uh hopefully some some month sometime soon before this year's out i'll get back to this and by the way if i had put two of these together which i should have done this demo maybe i could just grab one here you know this it's not going to be fastened down but you put two of them together it goes even faster it kicks it out really nice Okay, here we go. Gentle, gentle little push. Ooh, look at that nice acceleration. All right, anyway, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching. And uh, have faith in what I'm showing you is real. I haven't faked anything, nothing over the years. No matter what people say about me, it's not true. And when it comes to anything derogatory or un just crazy stuff that people say that have been doctored in my videos, which I have not. Alrighty, take care, guys. Best of luck to you all.